hello dear friends assalamu alaikum in this video i am going to tell you about the pix16 interrupt how to use the interrupt in a microcontroller which is pix16 microcontroller and what is the basic purpose of the interrupt in microcontroller and uh, what advantages we can take from the interrupt uh, instead of the main routine so please stay tuned like and subscribe the channel so the first question is that what is the interrupt in microcontroller we can say that interrupt is any event which need special attention so when any interrupt occurs in microcontroller the main program will pause and the program counter will jump to interrupt routine while uh, it will pause the execution of the main program Uh, interrupt in microcontroller may be due to any peripheral devices uh, such as timers, serial port, ADC, comparators, or any external uh, counter signal or timer signal which can cause the interrupt. Uh, after the execution of the interrupt, the microcontroller will resume to main program from where the interrupt halts the main program. Uh, so in this lesson we are going to use a timer one interrupt in pic microchip microcontroller in micro c for pic so we will execute the code and making the interrupt vector in micro c for pic and then checks its simulation in proteus so we has uh, start the micro c for pic now we are going to start the new project for the interrupt so project new project next so name the project and uh, select the location select the microcontroller and click ne next all libraries next give the configuration bits and all the parameters click okay here we take the port d clear port d and make the port d as output So here I add some code lines. Uh, the first line I have add is a global interrupt enable bit. This is a global interrupt enable bit in a PIC microcontroller. So if we need interrupts, first we have to on this bit. So we have enable the global interrupt enable bit. So after this bit, uh, there is another bit uh, associated with the interrupt, which is also necessary for switching on, which is a peripheral interrupt enable bit. so uh, for timer or serial port or any other external interrupt we also have to enable the peripheral enable interrupt enable bit also so after enabling these two bits uh, third bit is the timer one interrupt enable bit uh, so as i have said that we are using the timer one interrupt in this program so we have switch on the timer one interrupt enable bit for taking the interrupt from the timer one and after this uh, i have clear the interrupt flag overflow flag of the timer 1 for the first time it is necessary to clear the flag or uh, we will clear this flag uh, every time when the interrupt will occur uh, so here is the uh, time uh, for the timer which is 2 millisecond uh, if you don't know how to set this time and uh, what this time means uh, you can watch my uh, previous video about the timer in pic microcontroller so there is the 2 millisecond timer interrupt uh, so in this line i have switch on the timer and set the prescaler for the timer is 1 into 1 which is also discussed in the previous video so here you can see that uh, i have created the Uh, forever while loop in uh, the forever while loop is our main program running loop uh, in our main program running loop i have declared the led of uh, port d bit 0 and this led will flash at the rate of uh, 0.5 second so our main program will uh, do the one job of flashing the led with the delay of 0.5 second which is connected at port d bit 0 so this is our main program routine and now check where is our interrupt and what our interrupt is so this is our interrupt routine which is also called the interrupt vector 
in interrupt vector uh, this is the body of the interrupt vector you can see that uh, this is the main body of the interrupt vector where the program jumps when the interrupt come into the action so what is doing in the interrupt you can see that uh, in when the uh, timer one generate the interrupt after every 2 millisecond the our code uh, will return to the, this interrupt routine so in this interrupt routine we will check that uh, uh, what is the cause of the interrupt so we are checking the timer one interrupt flag that is uh, the timer one interrupt is the cause of the interrupt so here you can see that uh, if this is the cause of the interrupt then we will clear its flag and uh, uh, reset the time to its 2 second 2 uh, millisecond value and after this there is a variable of uh, counter which is used to keep the time of 0.5 second for another led flash which is our interrupt job uh, so you see that i have increment the counter here so and uh, in below i have checked that uh, whether the counter uh, of 0.5 second is elapsed or not this is the 250 value so that the 250 multiply by 2 millisecond is uh, 0.5 second so here the 0.5 uh, time has been checked so if 0.5 second has been elapsed uh, then we reset uh, the uh, counter and then we will toggle our led which is connected to port d bit number 1 so this is our interrupt job that uh, during the execution of the main routine code which will uh, execute always and uh, uh, in finite and when uh, during the execution of this code whenever the timer one generate the interrupt our code will jump from here to this interrupt vector and in this interrupt vector we will check that uh, what is the cause of the interrupt so if the cause of the interrupt is the timer one interrupt then we will uh, execute the program for the timer one interrupt so in timer one interrupt uh, we are flashing the led which is connected to port d bit number 1 uh, so i have compiled this program so program has been compiled and there is no error now we are going to check the simulation in the proteus of our interrupt exam so now we are in the proteus now first uh, take the microcontroller pic 16f 877a place the micro gun take two leds for flashing connect the two leds to the micro gun so here i have named the two led uh, the first is the main program led Uh, which flashing is depend on the main program and the next is the interrupt routine led uh, which flashing is depend on the interrupt routine now put the hex file in the microcontroller uh, which is located in the desktop place the hex file now it's time to play the code and check the execution of the code oh mm. so now uh, you have seen that uh, the both leds are flashing uh, this is a main program led which is depend on the main program and uh, this is the interrupt routine led uh, which is uh, uh, flashing in the interrupt from the main program so you have seen that uh, uh, we have seen that how uh, we have uh, used the interrupt in our program and how to flash the led using timer 1 in the interrupt and uh, you get the concept about the main program and the interrupt routine program in the future uh, we will uh, discuss inshallah about how to uh, take more interrupts uh, especially the serial interrupts and the timer interrupts so please like and subscribe the channel uh, for more videos and please stay tuned